Welcome dear friends to my video lecture on Pragmatism and some questions. Well, this is for UGC net education and for TRB education students. I am sure you will be enjoying this video and profiting a lot out of the questions that I have well selected. God bless you abundantly. Let us straight away enter into the topic. <coughs> Pragmatism and education. Pragmatism is a western philosophical school of thought that emerged in the late 19th century mainly in the United States. Key thinkers include Charles Santos Pierce, William James and John Dewey. Pragmatism emphasizes practical consequences and the utility of ideas, focusing on action and results rather than abstract concepts. Let us explore its contribution to education with a reference to information, knowledge and wisdom. That is the key words given in the syllabus. That is why we are discussing that. If they are strictly uh, uh, doing things according to the syllabus, then naturally they have to ask these questions, your knowledge, uh, information, wisdom, because that is given in the syllabus. Key principles of pragmatism. Experience and experimentation. Pragmatism views experience as the foundation of learning. It promotes learning through doing and experimentation rather than memorization or passive observation. <coughs> and also, uh, magnanimity, making them active participants in the learning process. There's, there's something wrong with the word. Uh, you know, activity in other words, making them active participants in the learning process, another principle. Adaptability. Pragmatism encourages flexibility in thinking. It promotes the idea that knowledge is not static but evolves with the new experiences and context. So adaptable. Community and social interaction, another principle. Learning is seen as a social process that occurs through interaction with others in a community fostering cooperation and shared understanding. What is the contribution of uh, pragmatism to education? Learning through problem solving is uh, because of Dewey's influence. John Dewey, a leading figure in pragmatism, advocated for an education system where students learn by solving real world problems. The emphasis is on critical thinking, encouraging students to question explore and find the solutions that work in practical scenarios. This approach fosters engagement and creativity, helping students to develop skills for lifelong learning. Then curriculum design, how pragmatism uh, views view curriculum design. Pragmatism influenced the curriculum development by integrating subjects across disciplines, that is interdisciplinary approach, emphasizing project-based rather than isolated uh, facts, project-based project learning rather than isolated information. Students gain practical knowledge by applying their learning to various real-life situations which deepens their understanding. What is the teacher's role in pragmatism? Teachers are not just knowledge providers, but facilitators of learning, guiding students through inquiry and discussion. Teachers help create learning environments where students can explore their interests and experiences. So, he facilitates learning, teacher. What is the relation to information, knowledge and wisdom? In other words, how pragmatism views information, knowledge and wisdom? Information. Pragmatism sees information as a raw data or facts that learners must engage with actively to give meaning. The role of the teacher is to guide students in navigating and interpreting information relevant to real world problems. That is the key word here. You know, the information that is relevant to real world problems. Knowledge. How do they view knowledge? How do pragmatists uh, see knowledge? In pragmatism, knowledge is not just about memorizing facts. It is the ability to use information in practical ways. Students gain knowledge when they can apply information to solve real problems and adapt to <coughs> new situations. 
Knowledge is thus dynamic and context dependent, evolving through experience and interaction. Then wisdom, how do they see wisdom? Wisdom from a pragmatist perspective is the ability to make sound judgment and decisions based on both knowledge and experience. <coughs> it involves a deeper understanding of how to apply knowledge <coughs> in ethical, thoughtful ways that benefit not only the individual but the broader community. In education, wisdom is fostered by encouraging students to reflect on their actions, understand consequences and learn how to act in ways that are meaningful and impactful. What can you give as concluding remarks? Pragmatism's contribution to education is significant in shifting focus from passive learning to an active experiential process. It, it, it transforms information into usable knowledge and fosters wisdom by encouraging practical problem solving, critical thinking and social collaboration. Teachers in this model become facilitators who help students connect to learning to real life context, ensuring that they grow not just intellectually but as thoughtful and adaptable individuals. Let us uh, reflect on some important questions. What is the primary focus of pragmatism? A. Abstract uh, concepts B. Practical consequences C. Historical knowledge D. Emotional intelligence Correct answer would be practical consequences. Pragmatism emphasizes practical outcomes and the utility of ideas rather than abstract uh, concepts. See, any idea should be usable in the uh, you know, uh, in everyday life. It should be helpful to lead our lives. Any idea, it should be practicable in other words. Who are considered key thinkers in pragmatism? A. Socrates, Plato and Aristotle. B. Charles Sanders Peirce, William James and John Dewey. C. Karl Marx, uh, Friedrich Engels and Max Weber. D. Immanuel Kant, G. W. F. Hegel and John Locke. Correct answer would be Charles Sanders Peirce, William James and John Dewey. These philosophers are foundational figures in the development of pragmatism. What role does experience play in pragmatism? A. It is irrelevant to learning. B. It is the foundation of learning. C. It should be avoided in education. D. It only relates to emotional responses. What should be the correct answer? What role does experience play in pragmatism? It is the foundation of learning. Experience is the foundation of learning according to pragmatism. Pragmatism views experience as central to the learning process. According to John Toohey, what is an effective method of learning? A. Memorization of facts. B. Learning through problem solving. C. Listening to lectures. D. Reading textbooks. So. What is an effective method of learning according to John Dewey? That is learning through problem solving. That is why projects are given. Even the research comes out of this particular uh, pragmatic principle we can very well say. Dewey advocated for education that engages students in solving real world problems. What is a key feature of pragmatist curriculum design? A. Strictly defined subjects. B. Isolated facts. C. Integration across disciplines or interdisciplinary approach. Traditional testing methods. What is the key feature of pragmatist curriculum design? That is integration across disciplines. In other words, uh, interdisciplinary approach. I mean many subjects are put together and learned in a new way. Pragmatism promotes a curriculum that integrates various subjects to enhance practical learning. How are teachers viewed in a pragmatist educational model? A. As the sole knowledge providers. B. As facilitators of learning. C. As strict disciplinarians. D. As passive observers. So, how are teachers viewed? Who are teachers in pragmatism? They are facilitators of learning. In pragmatism, teachers guide students in the learning process rather than simply imparting knowledge. What type of learning does pragmatism encourage? A. Passive learning. B. Active learning. C. Rote learning. D. Online learning. So what type of learning does pragmatism encourage? That is active learning.
pragmatism emphasizes engaging students in active problem solving and critical thinking <coughs> in the pragmatist view how is information perceived <coughs> a as unchangeable facts b as a raw data requiring interpretation c as irrelevant to learning d as purely emotional content in the pragmatist view how is information perceived that is as a raw data requiring interpretation pragmatism sees information as needing to be engaged with actively for meaningful learning what does knowledge represent in the context of pragmatism i think pragmatism sees information as needing to be engaged actively for meaningful learning you know that is the correct thing what does knowledge represent in the context of pragmatism a memorized information b static concepts c usable information in practical context d emotional understanding so what does knowledge represent in the context of pragmatism usable information in practical context any idea any theory should be uh, usable in day to day life you know in practical context it should be used that is the idea here so uh, how knowledge is represented in pragmatism that is usable information in practical context knowledge in pragmatism is defined as the ability to apply information to solve real problems what is wisdom according to pragmatism a yeah, accumulated facts b the ability to memorize data c sound judgment based on knowledge and experience d emotional intelligence how is wisdom Uh, in other words what is wisdom according to pragmatism that is sound judgment based on knowledge and experiences wisdom involves applying knowledge thoughtfully and ethically in various situations which of the following is not a principle of pragmatism a learning through experience b abstract reasoning c adaptability in thinking d social interaction so Uh, one of the four is not included, uh, you know, uh, in the, in this pragmatism principle. That is abstract reasoning, learning through experience, adaptability in thinking, social interaction, all part of, uh, you know, pragmatism. They are all principles of pragmatism. Whereas abstract reasoning is not the principle of pragmatism. Pragmatism focuses on practical applications rather than abstract reasoning. how does pragmatism view the process of learning a it is a solitary activity b it is a social process c it should be strictly individual it should be teacher centered which is the right one how does pragmatism view the process of learning it is a social process we should be able to study with others or we need to collaborate with others and then get, gain knowledge that is why the project method is uh, promoted in uh, Uh, pragmatism research is nothing but the social process that is how we have to understand so uh, our research is the contribution of pragmatism we must say it is a social process pragmatism emphasizes learning through interaction and collaboration within a community what type of learning is emphasized by pragmatism a learning through observation b learning through experimentation C learning through passive reception D learning through memorization So what type of learning is emphasized by pragmatism that is learning through experimentation Pragmatism encourages experimentation as a vital aspect of the learning process as important aspect of the learning process Which thinker is known for emphasizing the importance of democracy in education A William James B John Dewey C Charles Santos Peirce D Plato so which thinker is known for emphasizing the importance of democracy in education that is, that is John Dewey Dewey believed in the role of education in fostering democratic citizenship and community participation what is the ultimate goal of education according to pragmatism ultimate goal of education a to create experts in specific fields b to develop critical and adaptive thinkers C to ensure high test scores D to focus solely on theoretical knowledge so what is the ultimate goal of education according to pragmatism that is to develop critical and adaptive thinkers 
pragmatism aims to prepare students to think critically and adapt to changing circumstances in pragmatism what aspect is crucial for the teacher's role a providing all answers b encouraging student inquiry c maintaining strict discipline d following a fixed syllabus so in pragmatism what aspect is crucial for the teacher's role <coughs> that is encouraging student inquiry, inquiry. teachers facilitate inquiry and exploration helping students engage with material deeply so they should uh, make the students uh, inquire into various things and find out the truth you know that is the idea here encouraging student inquiry which of the following methods is encouraged by pragmatism for students which of the following methods is encouraged by pragmatism for students a passive listening b repetitive drills c collaborative projects d isolated study that is collaborative projects because it is a social process pragmatism promotes collaborative learning experiences to enhance understanding and uh, uh, engagement so for pragmatism uh, learning process is a social process that is why collaborative projects are encouraged in pragmatism what is the integration of subjects in pragmatism lead to uh, what is the use of this interdisciplinary approach according to pragmatism a confusion and disorganization b enhancing understanding of real world applications c overwhelmed students d simplified learning processes what is integration of subjects in pragmatism lead to that is enhanced understanding of real world applications integrating subjects helps students see connections and apply knowledge effectively which of the following describes the pragmatist view of knowledge a knowledge is unchanging b knowledge is cumulative and contextual c knowledge is purely theoretical d knowledge should be memorized to wear pattern you know according to the that the verses you know knowledge should be knowledge should be memorized so which is the right one which of the following describe the pragmatist view of knowledge knowledge is cumulative and contextual Cumulative means what? We are adding more and more knowledge. You know, you know, as we get some knowledge, and through that knowledge we get more. It gets accumulated. It is increasing day by day. You know, that is called a cumulative knowledge. Cumulative and contextual. Knowledge is cumulative and contextual. That is, pragmatism views knowledge as evolving with new experiences and contexts. What kind of educational environment does pragmatism advocate for? what kind of educational environment does pragmatism advocate for a competitive and individualistic b supportive and collaborative c rigid and structured c isolated and distant so what kind of educational environment does pragmatism advocate for that is supportive and collaborative pragmatism promotes the environments where students work together and support each other <coughs> supportive and collaborative how does pragmatism relate to lifelong learning <coughs> in other words ongoing education lifelong learning learning till death that is called a lifelong learning how does pragmatism relate to lifelong learning a it is irrelevant to lifelong learning b it fosters skills for continuous adaptation c it focuses only on early education D it discourages the exploration outside school how does pragmatism relate to lifelong learning it fosters skills for continuous adaptation whether in the school or outside the school it fosters skills for continuous adaptation to the world to the people to the surroundings pragmatism emphasizes skills that enable learners to adapt and grow throughout life what is the significance of reflection in pragmatism what is the significance importance of reflection in pragmatism a it is a distraction from learning b it helps in deepen understanding of experiences c it should be avoided d it only pertains to emotional issues what is the uh, significance importance of reflection in pragmatism that is uh, 
it helps deepen understanding and experience that is called a reflection according to pragmatism reflection allows students to evaluate their actions and learn from their experiences what does the pragmatist approach suggest about knowledge and ethics knowledge and ethics a they are unrelated b ethical considerations are essential in applying knowledge c ethics should be ignored in learning d knowledge is solely objective so ethical considerations are essential in applying knowledge according to pragmatism pragmatism highlights the importance of ethical decision making in using knowledge wisely so uh, they talk about ethics also with regard to knowledge that we have to understand so what does the pragmatist approach suggest about knowledge and ethics ethical considerations are essential in applying knowledge according to pragmatism pragmatism highlights the importance of ethical decision making in using knowledge wisely how does pragmatism view the evolution of knowledge a it is static and fixed b it is dynamic and changing c it should remain unchanged over time d it is irrelevant to practical applications what should be the correct answer what is the pragmatism view on the evolution of knowledge it is dynamic and changing pragmatism sees knowledge as evolving through new experiences on context what is the key outcome of a pragmatist educational approach what is the earthly outcome out of pragmatism yes students are relying on rote memorization we students are developing critical thinking skills see students following strict guidelines these students avoiding teamwork what is the key outcome of a pragmatist educational approach that is students are developing critical thinking skills pragmatism aims to cultivate critical thinking and problem solving abilities in students thank you dear friends god bless you abundantly uh, dear friends this will be helpful for trb uh, students especially for descriptive answers suppose a descriptive question is asked in this topic if you are able to write all these points one by one in your own style then it that would be the relevant uh, answer because i am i have taken uh, you know efforts in order to give a comprehensive idea on the descriptive questions i hope you will be able to understand this you will be able to reproduce that also soon i will be giving pdf files also uh, kindly now be patient soon i will be able to do that kindly give your comments also so that i am able to uh, you know give more meaningful uh, videos for you so that you are able to crack trp education or uh, net education uh, you know exam god bless you let us meet in other video lectures